Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alice and this is Ginny Bob's Crochet. So, as you can tell from the title of this video, I am back with yet another Aldi haul. Now, this has been quite requested. I've had a couple of people message me on Instagram, uh, which is down here, if you would like to follow me. Um, and I've had a couple of people say, am I going to film a video about the Aldi Yarn event? Um, so the Aldi Yarn event started Thursday and I was really unlucky actually. So my local Aldis did not stock any baby yarn. I couldn't believe it. Um, I couldn't get my hands on any. Um, so I really wanted to film a video on Thursday and couldn't get one out. Um, so I've had to wait until I've come down to my mum's house, which is on today's Saturday when I'm filming this. Um, I've had to wait to come down to my mum's house to film. Luckily, both of her Aldis were full. Well, they weren't full to the brim. One Aldi had been was partially ransacked and another Aldi had so much it was crazy um so I managed to get my hands on a few items I did not go as crazy as I did last time if you would like to look at my previous Aldi haul make sure you finish this end of this video first and then go and check it out I'll have it linked in a card above and I'll also put it in the description um I went crazy last time crazy and it took me a long time to work through that yarn I still have some of it left that's how cr and th that was about a year ago um so I did not go as crazy as I did last time because I, I purely do not have the room for it um and I purely do, cannot afford to go as crazy as I did last time because I have a child now and child take priorities so this is what I did buy um and this is a little bit excessive for me that I needed to get but I wanted to I loved the colours and I couldn't I couldn't not get them I couldn't get not get them so I had to pick them up so I'm going to stop jabbering on and I'm going to show you exactly what I picked up from this year's first Aldi event because don't forget they do them like three times a year so this is the first one of the year so this is what I picked up so the first colour oh by the way I really hope that the lighting isn't too bad because it's currently dark outside and I'm just using light um so I'm hoping that lighting is okay I will do cutaways if the lighting is too bad so you can see it in more depth but yeah this is the first one that I picked up this is a beautiful mint green color and it is in well it's actually called sage green so let's open it up so you can have a closer look So, hopefully you can see just how nice <clears throat> this is on camera. I feel like it's being washed out just a little bit, so I might do a cutaway. Um, this is the baby yarn. Uh, so, the specifications. Are we going to focus back on me? Uh, the specifications for this is uh, 100 grams don't forget you get a full pack uh, so you get 400 grams for every pack um, and it says it is a chunky number five hundred percent polyester approximately a hundred grams I'm not gonna waste my time weighing it I believe them you can use an eight millimeter knitting needle I assume that might be the same for uh, crochet because they don't they don't actually put on crochet hook sizes which is really weird and care instructions is you can wash it at 30 degrees don't iron don't tumble dry so yeah that's the first one so price wise let's talk about that for a minute before we move on to the next ones so price last year the Aldi yarn retailed at 3 dollars for a pack of four that was for the baby yarn the iron yarn the chunky yarn and the double knit some of them have different <coughs> pardon me <coughs> some of them had varying prices back then and they still do now so they're not all 3.99 across the board however aldi has been a little bit sneaky this year they have taken off the price sticker off the 
um yarn pack which they didn't do that last year last year they had a big sticker that said it was 3.99 it is now 4.99 so they have gone up by a pound so it's now one pound 25 ish a ball of yarn um i understand with the cost of living and everything increasing that there was going to be a price increase but i didn't realize it until i'd got to the till and i'd calculated in my head how much the yarn should cost me and then obviously when it was more i was like wait a minute what and I looked at the receipt and I realised that the yarn was more expensive than it previously was. So that's just something to keep your eye out if you're going to go and have a look at the baby yarn and you're budgeting for it. It is a pound more expensive than it used to be. I think that's the same across the board. So if you say you had the Aran yarn last year, I think it was 4 99 a ball. I think it's now 5 99 a ball. Uh, our pack because they're not doing the big Aran balls this year. They're doing packs of four like these. So yeah, that's just something to know is that the price has gone up, but that is still amazing value for four packs of basically Chanel yarn um, is £1.25 a ball. So that's the first one that I got. The second one that I got is this Pure White. I'm not going to get this out because we all know what Pure White looks like. Um, so yeah, this is the pure white one that I got. I needed to get some. I probably wish I picked up more than one pack of this. But like I said, I was trying to be sensible and I wanted to get more colours. So I just picked up one. Uh, but you can never go wrong with getting white. The next colour that I got is called Soft Peach. And it is beautiful. I think I had something similar to this last year. Let's get one out so you can see. It's probably all blurry right now. you see let's put it the right way around Alice that might be a nice idea gorgeous gorgeous color really nice soft peach color same care instructions same specifications as the other one the next one that I got is this blue and it is in sky blue which is a lovely baby blue color And it looks like this. Again, Alice, having it upside down. Love this baby blue. I've had something similar to this before as well. I think the last time that I had this, it was a little bit more blue. But I love this. Yep, that was sky blue. The next one is this beautiful yellowish colour. Um, it is in lemon yellow. Like a lemon cello. Let's take this out so we can have a look. Beautiful soft yellow colour. Love that one. And these are so soft but firm, which is one of the things that I really like about them. Getting focus, Alice. One of the things that I really like about them because it makes really good uh, yarn to crochet with for plushies because they hold their shape. We then have a... Oops, dove grey now i've had this in double knit before never in baby yarn this is what it looks like love this color can't go wrong with the grey still think this is probably an essential alongside the white to have in your collection and last but not least we have rose pink um so yes this is a very i don't know how to describe it a coral maybe i don't know you tell me you think that's a coral color love that so that is everything that i picked up today um along apart from baby food but that is all the yarn that i picked up today uh yeah i didn't pick up any double knit 
I didn't pick up any Aran yarn. I didn't pick up any chunky yarn. However, what I will note about the chunky yarn, I did feel it and it was super soft. Now last year I did not like the texture of it. I thought it was very rough and did not, so I didn't buy any. But this year if I needed some chunky yarn, I would have picked it up. Um, yeah, it just felt super soft. So I don't think there has been anything that I forgot to mention. Um, and I'm hopefully getting this video up in time for you to go and check out the yarn event yourself. Um, let me know if you managed to pick anything up. What did you pick up? Did you pick up anything good? Um, did you have a bigger haul than mine? Yeah, I'm interested to know. Um, hopefully I've inserted some footage um, of the actual yarn event. I'm sure I've remembered to do that. Note to Alice who is editing this. Insert the footage of the yarn event, please. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it's been enjoyable. It's not as big as the last one, but a haul is a haul and I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It means a lot and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.